Vlogmas 2023. Today is day at number seven. And I had promised you in yesterday's video that I was going to be trying out that vanilla creme brulee coffee that I got from Dollar Tree. I mean, if we are going to be gifting it to people, we should at least know if it tastes good, if it tastes worth gifting. So I'm going to try that out this morning and let you guys know. So um, I'm just going to put the coffee in a French press and uh, we're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of the vanilla creme brulee coffee. All right, and one more tablespoon going in. Okay, so that's two tablespoons of coffee going in. I've got my hot water here ready to go. All right, I'm pouring that in just like that, and that's just like one bottle of water. And what I'm gonna do is now I just put put this on like this and I'm going to sit and I'm going to let this steep for about five to eight minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning up and tidying here. So we'll let that steep and I'll be back to let you guys know how it is. All right, guys, it's been a good minute. So I'm going to push this down now. Push that down and pour me a cup and we'll see what this tastes like. Put me some creamer in here. Like I always make it like I do my regular coffee. And I got me some of my monk fruit sweetener here. I just like monk fruit in my coffee, y'all. I just love monk fruit in my coffee. Two heaping teaspoons. And give that a mix. Okay, I had to heat it up. It took me a minute um, to get upstairs and get changed. So it kind of, not kind of, it got cold. So I put it in the microwave, heat it up a little bit. So let's see what the vanilla creme brulee coffee tastes like from Dollar Tree. Hmm, not bad. I'm gonna put a little bit more, put a little bit more monk fruit in here. Just a teeny bit. But actually it's really good. Doesn't taste bad at all. It's actually great for gifting. Perfect. Mm. Mm. So yes, very delicious. Um, I would love for it to be a bit more creamier, so I'm probably gonna add a little bit more cream in mine, but it tastes really good. Very shocking to be a Dollar Tree um, coffee. But um, I think we underestimate Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, they really have it going on. They have a lot of name brands in there now. I know now they're Dollar Tree and more where they've added some um, other items that are more than a dollar. I think they go up to five or ten dollars. So, I mean, Dollar Tree is really getting up there. They're not really Dollar Tree anymore because it's $1.25 now for just their regular items. But um, yeah, we underestimate Dollar Tree. This coffee is really delicious. Give the creme brulee coffee a try. And it's gonna be really good um, when I get a, get together a recipe that I'm gonna put in the gift bags here. I'm gonna put together a recipe to go in this bag to make it really complete um, so that they, the recipient can use the frother with the coffee. So I'm just gonna make it complete. I'm gonna have that recipe um, on my website as well. So you'll be able to print like the little recipe tag to go with it and everything. Uh, it's gonna be really great. I'll, sh I'll show you guys the completed project um, probably in about a week or so or less. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this day started. I have to run to the mall to get me some more makeup and make a couple of other stops and I'll take you guys along with me for Vlogmas day number seven. Good coffee. <music>
makeup reveal from the MAC counter here at Dillard's. And um, I think I said this in a vlog once before. I'm gonna wait till I get to my car, it's too loud out here. Yeah, so I think I said this in a vlog a while ago when I was out here. I have not been out here since that vlog, which was like months ago. But um, the malls are just, I think malls will just be a thing of the past here soon because whereas when I first moved out here years ago, this mall was booming, especially around Christmas time. It's like, it's like no matter what time of the day you came to the mall during the holiday season, it was packed and it was so dead and dry in there. I mean, yes, even in the middle of the day on a Thursday, you could come to the mall during the holiday season and it was packed. Um, online shopping is just the new thing right now. Um, shopping at malls, just a lot of people just don't do it anymore, including myself. I rarely come to the mall. Number one, because there's so much theft and foolery going on and then you've got just the world has just changed tremendously you're you're too fearful to just go and do the simplest of things and I don't know it's just really sad so in this mall here there's just a lot of while we still have our our top-notch stores a few of our name brand stores there's a lot of like what I call little rinky dink stores like stores you've never heard of um that are just like small businesses that are just popping up and for the mall in order for it to stay afloat they just allow any kind of business to come in now just to keep them all going um but anyway i don't know i just felt a little sad in there because it's so dead and it's just i don't know for whatever reason it just made me really really sad anyway let me continue to push on uh let's see what we're gonna do next all right, y'all, so for today's um, holiday DIY, I am at the Dollar Tree. I'm at the one closest to my home this time. I'm not going to the one that I went to the last time. It's like a big mega Dollar Tree, the one that I went to the last time, and it was packed. So I'm here at this one um, that's closer to my home, and it's a little, it's a, a large Dollar Tree. Um, and I thought I was going to be avoiding the crowd, but this one is hardly ever packed in the middle of the day on a weekday there's so many people here right now so i gotta run in and get what i need so that i can make these holiday diys i'm gonna be making um well i'll tell you guys when i get home um so anyway let me get on in here and tackle this crowd and i will <laughs> check back with you guys in a minute for a friend of mine who owns a small business. So I'm going to be making for her a homemade poopery. So, you know, the poopery spray that you put, you spray in the toilet right before you go. Um, I'm gonna make a homemade version of that for her to put in her business restroom. And I thought, you know, this would be a perfect gift for any of your friends that own a business or any of your friends that wanna take one of these and keep them in their purse um, for when they're out and about and you gotta go. Everybody gotta go. I don't know why people make that such a no, 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 don't talk about type thing. Everybody gotta go. Um, but these poopery sprays really come in handy. So um, as you guys saw, I got these little pumps. These are little two ounce pumps. 
I got these from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna be making her the homemade poopery, putting it in these little pumps, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make your very own homemade poopery. Really, really simple um, items that you're gonna need. You're gonna need some water. You're going to need an essential oil, a nice fragrance. I'm just going to use simply lavender. And then I have some rubbing alcohol here that I'm also going to use, okay? And then we have our bottles that we got from Dollar Tree. So let's go ahead and get started. Also make sure you have you a funnel and a measuring spoon. So for this one in particular, because we're doing two ounces, I'm gonna only use one teaspoon, uh, one teaspoon of the rubbing alcohol. So I'm gonna kind of eyeball it here. I'm gonna eyeball out one teaspoon. And then whatever essential oil you're going to use, you're going to need 30 to 40 drops of an essential oil. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to drop my essential oil in here because trying to drop it in there will be impossible because you see the, so I'm going to put my essential oil in here, then put it through the funnel. Okay, so I did for this little bit amount, I did 35 drops. Okay, you can do 30 to 40. So I just went in between the 35 drops. All right, got that in there. And then we're just going to simply fill the rest of this up with water. Give it a shake. And you're ready to go. All right, now I'm going to do another one. This one, I'm going to use um, my lavender. And then I also have a lemon essential oil here, oil here that I'm gonna use. So I'm going to use jasmine, I mean not jasmine, lavender and lemon for the next one. So I have a lavender lemon fragrance and then I have just lavender fragrance and they both smell really good. Mm -mm -mm. I think I like the lavender and lemon best. But um, so what I'm going to do now is just make little labels to put on these and then um, let them know before each use, make sure you just shake it up I'm gonna make sure you says shake well on the little label. I'll put that on there and yeah, it's ready to go, but a cute little gift. So I'm going to put this together with a little gift basket and um, that'll be, yeah, the perfect little gift for my friend to put in her small business. She has a lock salon. She does braids and locks and um, yeah, this will be the perfect gift for her. All right. And so these are the labels um, that I made for the poopery spray. I'm going to print this out and put it on the bottles. All right, guys, that is it for Vlogmas Day at number seven. I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you all are enjoying the DIY projects that I'm doing. I love DIY projects, especially around the Christmas time. Um, I just love putting my heart and soul into something and being able to give it away. There's nothing like homemade gifts. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying them. If so, let me know in the comments below. Again, thanks for being here, and I'll be back tomorrow for Vlogmas Day number eight. So until then, it is my prayer that you and your family have a blessed and a prosperous day and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.